I'm gonna have to do something about that. What is happening, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I haven't posted in a while. Um, had a few issues with GoPros and GoPro battery. So, at this point, I'm a little washed out there. Though. So at this point, we are pretty much ready to go. We are signed up for iTrack Motorsports Drift event uh, down in Cecil, Georgia, South Georgia Motorsports Park. Got a chance to visit that place and uh, spectate last time around. Uh, this event popped up and I went ahead and got registered for the Saturday portion of the driving. Um, should be a pretty cool event. Looks like they're probably going to have like some sort of a jumbotron there. They're going to have a little bit of a competition and plenty of seat time for anybody who has registered. I think they're also going to do camping and, uh, you know, a two day event. So it'll go on Sunday. Sunday, I'll probably just spend time getting footage of uh, some of the drivers of cars and and stuff like that but um that will be a separate video in relation to just uh just driving and experiencing my first drift event that i'm actually participating in since 2015 i think so it's been a long time maybe a little bit nervous sometimes depends on how much i smoked but uh let's let's uh go over some of the Things we've been working on with the station wagon in the meantime. I no longer have the Momos up front. Uh, the reason being the Momos, the, the front Momos still had good tires, 225, 45, uh, 17. Now when it comes to angle kits, uh, you know, if you don't have the absolute biggest control arm, which I don't, in order to get the maximum amount of steering angle, you'll most likely have to shrink the wheel and tire packet. And now with this, this wheel setup um, is about the same exact offset as the Momos. I believe the wheels are a half inch narrower. And I, I went down to the uh, to a 215 uh, 40 17. I came down in size because I needed to shrink the overall diameter of the tire so that I could clear the frame rail and not have to worry about that whole situation. And so in the rear, we're just going to be running these, uh, I think they're West Lakes. Uh, let's, let's go check them out on the Momos. So basically I'm just going to burn these off. Yeah, 225, 45. Westlake. So that's going to be my rear tire. These are going to be my fronts. And we should be good to go um, on tires. I've got a few other sets of tires. Um, I think I've got some uh, HCR Z2s mounted on some Style 32s, which I will bring along and make sure that we've got enough tire. Now, this is the e brake setup. Um, worked on this over the last week uh super grateful that uh my dad decided to come over and, and uh hang out and help me bleed the brakes because we had a bit of a uh, a couple of family emergencies and uh you know i basically ended up here without a car and whatnot so he decided to stop by and help me out help me finish bleeding the brakes yeah basically he just helped me finish it out so Always good news. E-brake works. It's hitting pretty hard. My brakes do still feel a little funny, but I've actuated ABS and bled them post ABS activation and DSC and traction control and all that junk. And uh, they still, my brakes still just feel funny. They don't feel the same way that they used to. So it's a little softer at the top. I don't know if that has to do with the Chase Bay's hydro lines, maybe being a larger diameter. Um, whatever. We're going to make do. Here's a look at the rear of the car currently. Um, this seat, holy crap, this seat back here was super heavy. Um, I, I want to say it weighed like it weighed like 50 pounds, man. So um, kind of excited to get that out. These holes were actually already in there and you know there's another hole down here that kind of lined up well enough for me to get the lines down there and uh, get them all connected to the actual brake so everything looks uh you know good enough 
Oh, let me go ahead and pull this out. Spare tie rods, eh? Uh, one of the next things that I need to do is get this fire extinguisher mounted. I think I'm going to do something right about here. Hopefully, it will work out. I think what I'm going to end up doing is using these two e-brake mounts um, and just fashion up some little, some little plates that I can connect the mount to. Also, obviously, gone ahead and set up tools and toolboxes and you know a variety of things i don't really know what i'm going to encounter this whole girl's uh 240,000 miles into her lifespan we're going to give her a fresh oil change make sure all the fluids are topped off really nicely we're going to pressure wash the underside of the car we're obviously going to you know clean up the outside before the event so yeah we've got a few more things to do let's start with getting this fire extinguisher mounted so pop this bad boy off I think what I'm looking to do is kind of like get it to end up right around here. I don't know if I've got to reposition some stuff, but uh, I've got some flat stock 316 bar, a couple little sections. Let's go with probably two and a half inches long. I painted my wheels uh you probably stole them wheels gold and uh, I didn't really like the color so my wife picked me up this it's a little bit better kind of looks a little like rose gold it's kind of funny but I went ahead and painted that toe hitch as well and uh just use this shit up it's better than what I bought what I bought was garbage What is up? All right, day two. Uh, it's Tuesday before the drift event, and uh, we're just gonna keep on prepping some stuff. Today, I wanna get underneath the engine bay, just sort of like some deep cleaning, clean these wheels up. You know, just for the sake of them being clean. Put some tire shot on the wheels. I'm gonna air all my tires up to, I don't know, 55 or something. I, you know, I, most of the videos I've seen of people trying to drift stock wagons um you know usually struggle pretty pretty hard so i'm gonna air up these tires and hopefully that's enough give me a little bit of an edge so let's get to cleaning If anybody asks why you clean an engine bay before you go to uh, you know a racing event of some sort, clean it up, make your shit look better than it 
really is, and they might leave you alone during tech. Took there any blood on me? All right, so we are finishing up prep. Station wagon is ready to go. We got through the entire list. Um, managed to change my inner tie rods. Managed to realign the car. Oil change, rear differential, uh, fluid change as well. Nut and bolt check everything on the front and the rear. Sorry, this Georgia swamp bugs everywhere we've got all our preps over here we've got tools we've got alignment plates uh some chairs tires the tires all clean and aired up jack everything ready to go tomorrow so yeah i appreciate you guys watching and uh we'll see tomorrow how it goes uh tomorrow's really just sort of like a, a test day i want to get reacquainted with uh drifting i don't think this car is going to feel anywhere near as nice as uh helga the e36 did but um yeah we'll we'll keep working with it uh it's what we have and we're going to keep going through the process so tomorrow's a good shakedown day gonna get some testing in gonna figure out what are the next things i need to be doing in order to make proper changes to the car and uh yeah we'll just keep moving forward all right we'll see you guys next time peace even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, go